Hey what's up guys it's Banu here from androidor.com yesterday we unboxed this beauty the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and uh, today I'm gonna be setting this one up I have actually been using the Huawei P20 Pro uh, as my main flagship device as my daily driver for the past few months so it has been a great experience especially thanks to these awesome cameras at the back so that was one of the main reasons for me to use this because the camera experience was really really good now with the addition of the mate 20 pro things are going to get better i think overall with the wide angle sensor the experience that i had with the p20 uh, pro will only get amplified with the mate 20 pro so i'm super excited and because of that I'm actually going to be switching my primary sim from the P20 Pro over to the Mate 20 uh, Pro in this video. So let's do that before we get do, uh, started with anything else. So let me quickly pull off the um, sim card right out from the uh, P20 Pro and then let me quickly take the sim card tray out from the Mate 20 Pro and Here's a look at the new SIM card tray of the Mate 20 Pro. Actually, this side is for the nano memory if anyone is interested. And this side is for the uh, SIM card. So let me quickly go ahead and drop my SIM inside. Just like that. And let me quickly go ahead and slide this SIM card tray into the device. So now I have my primary sim inserted onto the all new Huawei Mate 20 Pro. So let me roll that intro and after that we'll go ahead and set this one up. If you guys are not subscribed to me right here on YouTube, definitely go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now and hit on that like button as well because that keeps me motivated to make awesome videos like this in the future. So now that uh, I have uh, popped in my SIM card, now let's go ahead and set this one up. First off, I'm going to change the language to English United States and add Singhala later on in settings because when I start off with Singhala, sometimes the settings are a bit wonky. So I always prefer to go, go around it this way. So we also have the data import option right here. So if you would like to import data from a previous device, you can do it right here if you want. But in this case, I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm going to just skip over that. And now I have to connect to my Wi-Fi network. So let me quickly go ahead and connect to my primary Wi-Fi. All right, that was pretty fast. So uh, I almost got connected instantly. Now I have to go ahead and connect to my Google account. So let me quickly do that as well. Just like that, I'm signed into my Google account. Now I just have to go ahead and accept to all of these conditions. And then we have the option to enable the Google Assistant. So let me give access to the Google Assistant. Now I'm connected to my Huawei account so let me quickly uh, agree to the terms of that as well and allow the permissions. So now we come to the interesting part. Here we can enable the fingerprint ID, the face unlock or set a password. So this device has an in-display fingerprint scanner like I mentioned in my unboxing video as well as great face unlock. Uh, similar to uh, Face ID on the iPhone 10 with all the sensors. So in case if you guys haven't seen my unboxing video of this yet, I will have a card right here as well as a link down below in the description. Definitely go ahead and check out that video before you watch this actually. So now in this, let's go ahead and first set up the fingerprint ID and then let's go ahead and set up the face unlock. So in order to set up the fingerprint ID, it, allows, it gives uh, this overview. So let's go ahead and tap to um, enable it. So for a password, I'm just going to put uh, something simple like zero. All right. So now I just have to enroll the fingerprint. So I just have to, uh, it says press firmly on the in-screen in sensor zone. Your fingerprint may be less secure than a strong pin or pattern. So 
uh, this is actually the zone where the in display fingerprint scanner will work so let me quickly go ahead and keep my thumb over there so it seems to be quite similar to the experience that we have uh, with the normal uh, fingerprint scanner the physical fingerprint scanners that we uh, usually have like in the p20 pro but the disadvantage there is you are actually taking up space for that so one of my main complaints about the p20 pro was that fingerprint scanner at the bottom of the screen so it took up a lot of space so now we have successfully enrolled a fingerprint so i can go ahead and tap ok and now we also have the option to set a face unlock so let's go ahead and do that right now so i will add the same password here so here's how to enroll the face unlock all right so let me quickly go ahead and enroll my face I think the experience there was a bit wonky because I had to bend and uh, there are a few soft boxes surrounding me so I think uh, there's too much light in this scenario so that's why I think uh, that experience was, was a bit wonky but if, if not if you're just setting it up in a normal environment I think you just have to rotate your head and it will just work so I will actually test that out uh, separately after I am done with this video so that I can report back to you guys in my full review so finally we have the user experience improvement program so if you want to be a part of that you can join it I always join that just like that we are done with the setup process so that was actually pretty uh, fast and convenient now that we are done with the setup now I have to go ahead and restore all my apps into this device uh, I might actually do that manually this time around and only install what I actually need let's quickly jump into the settings area and hop into the software update section and see whether there is an update because it seems to be notifying that there is an update indeed so if that's the case we should first install the update always install the update before you mess with it so yeah there is an update it's a 2.04 megabyte update actually so let me quickly uh, install this it's a small patch uh, so it's downloading right now so I will install this and once that's done uh, I will set this device up uh, the way I want and after that it's gonna be a cool experience I guess with the Mate 20 Pro the journey starts and uh, so far it's been pretty good the in display fingerprint scan actually works pretty well as well when the device is locked if you just shake the screen uh, it shows where the in display fingerprint scanning zone is just like that so all you have to do is just go ahead and tap the uh, area with that installed fingerprint so the software update has been downloaded let me quickly go ahead and install that so it's authenticating the package and now it will go ahead and install the update so guys that's about it for this video i just wanted to take you guys through the setup process of the huawei mate 20 pro because i didn't actually go over that in my unboxing if you have any questions regarding the mate 20 pro definitely go ahead and drop a comment down below or you can message me as always and uh, stay tuned to android.com and let me know what are the videos you guys want to see uh, featuring the huawei mate 20 pro so the device has actually finished installing the update now it's booting back into the um, the OS so now it's time to do some awesome tests with this device and see what happens so the pin number is 0000, 000, 000. so just like that this display I mean it looks pretty cool and the curved glass here it, it actually adds to the display uh, so I'm very excited to keep using this device um, so yeah that's about it follow me on social media i'm at andrew dollar all the links are given down below in the description let me know what are the videos you guys would like to see uh, featuring the huawei mate 20 pro so i have the p20 pro over here as well so if you guys want to see a comparison or what's different between these devices uh, maybe i can make that happen so let me know what you guys want to see and until i see you guys in my next video this is fun